Alright guys, welcome back to another video of King Exotic. Coming to you guys with a brand new video and today in this video I'm going to be talking about the new contracts that were added to Black Ops 4 in this most recent update. Patch notes have not went live yet. So when patch notes do go live, I will definitely make a video talking about that later on today because there's a lot of changes that have happened. But the main one I want to talk about is how disappointed I am in the new contracts that have been added to Black Ops 4. Now, it's cool that we actually do have contracts that have been added to Black Ops 4 because it's something that we've been wanting for quite a while and honestly, we probably should have got them at release. I know Black Ops 3 had contracts, but they didn't get added until about June 10th or something like that. At least that's when the trailer went live, so I assume probably a few days after that that the contracts probably did go live into Black Ops 3. But thinking about it, Black Ops 4 is literally a whole step back from Black Ops 3 and all of these contracts probably should have been in the game since release but we'll talk about that all later on in this video now there are six contracts in all four game modes which we have world league multiplayer blackout and of course zombies and i think there's a daily contract in all four of those modes so you'll have 28 contracts to complete every single day and i think it's close to like 190 something contracts every single week which is really cool i guess so there's a big chance that you could earn probably at least 100 reserves every single week now that's cool and all but until you realize what the challenges are and knowing that you have to probably sit here every single day of your life to literally even try and earn some of these dlc weapons because i think the whole point of this contract system was to kind of get away from the whole backlash that treyarch has been getting for adding DLC weapons into reserves and just locking them behind paywalls or really just absurd amount of time played on the game. Now, let's just look at the contracts real quick. So, for one, I have a Search and Destroy Challenger. By the way, all contracts are completely different for everybody. I'm assuming that you could have chances that you might have some like challenges that are similar to mine, but most likely you'll probably have different ones. Playing complete five games of Search and Destroy and you will earn one reserve. 1000 XP, if you're level 1000, all these XP rewards are kind of pointless, but I guess it's kind of cool that some of these challenges do have reserved, like one of the hard ones in multiplayer, Cruel Punishment, which is not really that hard, it's 10 kills without dying. You get two reserves, which is pretty cool. You get Trick Shot, which is a bank shot medal with the Combat Axe, and you earn one reserve which is awesome as well same with the backup plan which is 40 ekia with three attachments on your secondary very simple if you use the cat 40 and then a bunch of them are just honestly a bunch of xp challenges now none of these challenges are like super super hard to be honest but it's just the amount of time that you actually have to put into the game maybe a few hours a day just to possibly not even earn yourself a dlc weapon to most likely earn yourself a ducky sticker that's literally probably what you're probably going to earn most likely in this game because that's just how this game is there's like a billion stickers for no reason it's almost like the weapon charms and the weapon like pistol grips that they had back in world war ii which literally just diluted the whole supply loot system so that's the contracts for multiplayer moving on to i guess we could just move on to world league i think these contracts are a bit harder honestly just because it's World League and a lot of people are a lot more sweaty on this compared to anything else. Now we're in the World League hub, we have another one, Challenger, playing complete 5 games. Nothing too hard there and you earn yourself another case. Same with this one, Score Streak Master and you earn 1000 XP. Another 1000 XP one, Vanquisher, which is win 4 games, which I think... I mean, at least when you're playing 5 games you have a chance of earning that very simple, so... Hey, it's not that hard, honestly, but you have to really hope that you get good teammates. We also have True Ascension, which is two reserves, earn 1,000 ladder points. Doesn't include the bonus points, so I'm not 100% sure how World League even works, to be quite honest. I never paid too much attention to it, so I'm not sure if 1,000 ladder points is that difficult to earn. Especially if you're probably in the lower level, so I can't think it'd be that hard, honestly. We also have Like a Boss, which is finish the game with the most kills and least death on your team you also earn a reserve case i think one thing that would really help these i guess contracts would really to be getting rid of reserve cases and acting crates i think the crates would be a better idea which is pretty much like supply drops and it gives you three items instead of just one item because i mean you literally can need a duplicate and then get a sticker like i think it's completely pointless you're not going to ever earn the weapon or any of the loot that you really want. Let's say it's a specialist character's like suit or something like that. 
you'll never earn the gear you want, the suit, you'll never earn the DLC weapons. The chances are very, very low. Honestly, Black Ops 4 could have went about this, or Treyarch could have went about this a completely different way and literally just upped the ability to get DLC weapons compared to everything else because I think it's actually crazy that some YouTubers have opened up 600 plus tiers and not pulled a single DLC weapon or at least only pulled one. And I think that's just ridiculous. So I don't understand what the whole point of this is. We also have another one, Solo Proficiency, which you're in another case. I think you guys get the whole point of this and the whole gist of these things. Literally, you're just going to be earning a bunch of cases. Now, I'm not 100% sure how many cases you will be earning, but I would assume it'd be a lot of them. At least probably 100 a week, possibly. So, you guys can definitely go do the math on that, or I might even make another video talking about this at some other later date. But I really just wanted to give my thoughts and opinions on these contracts because I really don't think that contracts are really going to be the way to help our issue that we do have in Black Ops 4. Yes, we get more loot, but then again, you're probably not getting the loot that you do want. So, I just personally think it's a very pointless thing that, that has been added. And I think DLC weapons just should have not been locked behind paywalls, so these contracts would have actually been useful. But, hey, I mean, if you get a, a DLC weapon out of the case, hey, be my guest, and I guess you got something cool. But, in my opinion, this isn't going to help the situation that Black Ops 4 is currently in. And you guys can let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and opinions on these new contracts. Will this help Black Ops 4 in the sense that you're getting more loot, possibly to earn more DLC weapons? Or is this a very pointless thing and the contracts suck? Let me know in the comments down below, but personally, I think this system really sucks. I'm just going to be honest as possible. But yeah, you guys can let me know your thoughts. And make sure to like, subscribe, put on post notifications so you guys don't miss another video. And I'll be back with another video later on today. I'm out. Running for that bag and it be only me. It's only me. These haters always pushing, they be on to me. Yeah. Family and money, this be all I need. Get to them boys who bring me down, they ain't be holding me.